today. What are Bronsted-Lowry acids and bases? And how can you identify Bronsted-Lowry acid-base pairs if you're given sets of reactions? Here's how you're gonna remember it. Bronsted-Lowry acids are proton donors, as in they can give away protons or H's. Bronsted-Lowry bases are proton acceptors. There needs to be a lone pair of electrons on an atom for it to accept an H plus or proton. Acid-base conjugate pairs or conjugate acid-base pairs are two chemicals that differ by just one proton. The acid is the one with the extra proton because the acid is the one that can donate the proton. How can you identify these acid-base pairs? Let's take a look at these three examples. H2CO3 reacts with OH- to make HCO3- and H2O. Take a look at this chemical versus this chemical. What's the difference? This one has two H's, this one has one. This one has no charge, this one has a negative charge. They differ by an H and by a single charge. That means it lost an H plus to get there. This is the acid in this acid-base pair, and this is the base. This just gave away a proton. This could use a proton to turn back into this. Give away a proton, get a proton. Donate a proton, accept a proton. See how the gentle push-pull works between conjugate acid base pairs. This and this also differ by a single H and by a single charge. Here though, this one has the, the two hydrogens, whereas this one only has one. This one is missing the hydrogen or proton. This one has it. This one is ready to donate that proton to turn back into this. This is ready to accept a proton to turn into that. The one with more protons or H's is the acid in the acid-base pair. You feel like doing it a second time? Cause I do. HCO3- differs by an H plus between Oh, this one. They both have a CO3, but this one has an H and this one doesn't. This one has a charge of minus one, this one has a charge of minus two. So they differ by an H and a plus. This is the one with the extra proton. This is the acid. This is its conjugate base. That leaves these two, and they clearly differ by a single proton. There's the extra H, and there's the difference in charge of one. This is the acid, and this is the base in the conjugate acid-base pair. We can do it a third time if we so chose, right down here. H2O differs by just a single H to H3O+. This one has the proton, because it has three, and this one only has two. So that means this is the acid, and this is the base. These two also differ by a single H and charge. This one has two H's, this one has one, so this one's the acid, and this one's the base. These are a conjugate acid-base pair. How cool is that? You can identify the acid-base pairs because they differ by a proton and a charge. One thing that I'd like to point out here 
is that H2O was both an acid and a base. If it can be both an acid or a base, we have a special word for that. The word is amphoteric. A chemical is amphoteric if it can be both an acid and a base. There's one more amphoteric compound hanging out around here. Can you find it? HC3O minus can be an acid, but HC3O minus also acted as a base. HC3O minus is an amphoteric compound because, well, ion, I should say, because it can accept a proton to turn into this, or it can donate a proton to turn into this. How cool is that? Best of luck.